Hello friends. Today I am going to tell about sinusitis. What are the symptoms of sinusitis? What causes sinusitis? And uh, what is the scope of homeopathy treatment in case of sinusitis? What are the homeopathy medicines that helps in sinusitis? Uh, before going into detail, I would like to tell what is sinus. Sinus are nothing but there are some empty uh, cavity, empty space in your skull bones that are called sinus. There are four pairs of sinus in your skull bone. One pair over our front bone, in our, uh, above the eyebrows area, it is called uh, frontal sinus, uh, sinus. One pair over our cheekbone, this is called maxillary bone, it is called maxillary sinus. Another pair in between your eyes, it is called ethmoid sinus. And another pair, it is present behind the nose, it is called spinoid sinus. When the sinus get inflamed, we call it sinusitis. What are the types of sinusitis? There are two types of sinusitis. One is acute sinusitis and another is chronic sinusitis. So the acute sinusitis is when there is sinusitis symptoms, you have just couple of days back it has developed very acutely, but recently it has developed, it is called acute sinusitis and you have, if you have the sinusitis symptoms since a month together, since year together, it is called chronic sinusitis. So, uh, we should know what is the role of sinus in our skull bone. The sinus generally it, uh, lightens our skull bone, it uh, improves our voice and inside the sinus always there is some mucosecretion is there and that mucosecretion it uh, drains from the sinus to our nose and it drains at the back side of the nose it helps to humidify the airs that we breathe in during the type of respiration we take the air in it humidify the air and due to the humidification, due to the moisturization of the air, when you are taking the air during the respirations, it traps the uh, foreign substances, it traps the dust, traps the uh, microorganisms that uh, checked in the nose and that cannot enter in our lungs during the time of respiration. So it helps to protect our lungs from the organism which we breathe at the time of respiration. So, uh, what is the, uh, what are the causes of sinusitis? There are a few causes of sinusitis. So, sinusitis will occur when the sinus passage will be, will be blocked either any growth or the sinus passage, the inside wall, the inner wall of the sinus passage, the sinus get inflamed and closed so that the sinus fluid cannot drainage and it get trapped inside the sinus sinus cavity then it will cause sinusitis problem so one cause is nasal polyp nasal polyp is there are small growths inside the nose which block the drainage of the sinus fluids and that causes the sinusitis problem Another common upper respiratory infection, common cold, is another, uh, the most common cause of sinusitis. If a patient is having frequent common cold problem, that causes inflammation of the nasal mucous membrane, inflammation of the sinus membrane, and that blockage the sinus passage, and it causes sinusitis. Another condition uh, is deviated nasal septum. Nasal septum means the septum which uh, presence in between the two nostrils, the this this cartilage, this this bone is called the septum. And if that septum is not straight, if it is twist or crooked, then it is called deviated nasal septum. And due to this deviation, it blocks the sinus drainage and it causes sinusitis problem. Another cause is if the person is having always allergic problem due to the allergy problem 
हिच हर साइनस पासेज ज नजल म्यूकस एरियाज गेट इन्फ्लम्ड थिक एंड एंड इट ब्लॉक द नजल पासेज इट ब्लॉक द साइनस ड्रेनेज एंड इट कॉजेस द साइनोसाइटिस सो देर आर फ्यू कॉजेस लाइक नजल पलिप वन कॉज देर इज डेफिड नजल सिप्टम इज अनदर कॉज एंड क्रोनिक रिकरेट ऑपरेशन ट्रक्ट इन पेशेंट लाइक कॉमन कोल्ड इज अनदर कॉज एंड क्रोनिक एलर्जिक प्रॉब्लम एलर्जी राइनेटिस प्रॉब्लम ए अनदर कॉज ऑफ साइनोसाइटिस नाउ वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट आर द स्कोप ऑफ होम्योपैथिक ट्रीटमेंट इन केस ऑफ साइनोसाइटिस द कॉमन ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ साइनोसाइटिस जनरली इफ देयर इज लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ म्यूकस इज फील्ड इन सच अ साइनस देन your uh, doctor will drainage the mucus and they will give some medicines to dry up the mucus in the sinus area but when you will again get cold when you have this uh, nasal polyp condition it is there in, in your nose again it will reappear but the homeopathic medicine helps to cure the sinusitis problem by uh, improving the cause of the sinusitis the root cause of the sinusitis problem there are few homeopathy medicines that helps a lot to treat the sinus problem to treat the sinusitis problem among them one is silesia silesia is a drug which frequently generally prescribed by the homeopathic doctor in case of sinusitis the silesia symptoms sir generally we homeopath we prescribe the medicine as per the symptoms not we have we don't have any specific medicine for any specific disease so it is not that salicylic is the only medicine is prescribed for the sinusitis problem salicylic can be prescribed in different diseases but if the symptoms of salicylic present in the sinusitis condition we can prescribe the sinusitis is good can prescribe the salicylic in sinusitis sinusitis so what are the common symptoms of sinusitis if the person is having the headache problem by exposure to cold air suppose a person uh, drive go for a long drive in a bike in a, in a winter season after coming from the home he started a severe headache and this is the by the exposure of the cold air then this type of headache or cure due to the exposure of the air is also the is one of the is most important symptom of silesia so after exposure to cold air the headache is appearing so you will think about the silesia another important symptom of silesia is the pain of the the headache pain its origin from the back portion and extends upwards and settles on the right eye portion so if you have the headache problem that starts that origin from the occipital area from the back portion and it gradually increases and say in, in uh, extends of person settles at the eye portion right eye portion and it is severe paining then and also there is cause there is history of cold air exposure then silesia is the good medicines another frequently prescribed medicine in sinusitis is calibicromium calibicromium symptoms sir there is thick nasal discharge there is stingy nasal discharge like uh, the uh, mucus discharge from the throat also very thick very thick stingy like like stingy means there is thick ropey rope like uh, discharges if the person is uh, hucking <coughs> then he cannot uh, uh, get clear this mucus from the throat because it's so thick and so so stingy it it uh, just uh, it uh, stick on that uh, throat area it cannot clear out easily so so if you have these symptoms like you have thick stingy discharge from the nose and there is cross formation inside the nose and the nasal uh, discharge is thick and there is uh, thick mucus discharge a uh, stingy mucus discharge from the throat then calibicrom is a good medicine for sinusitis another medicine is belladonna when you have severe headache on exposure to cold air and the headache is throbbing in nature like it's like it is throbbing nature of headache so that type headache and there is uh, redness of the face there is 
congestion of the IH and there is severe headache, then by exposure to cold air, then you can prescribe belladonna. Next medicine is Kali Ayot. Kali Ayot symptoms are there is very runny nose and there is the discharge of acrid nature, there is burning nature, burning sensation when the nasal mucus is coming. And uh, in Kali Ayot, uh, there is also the, the thick, stingy discharges and the uh, there is pain, constant pain over the frontal portion, this eyebrow portion. If the symptoms are present, then we can prescribe Kaliyat. Another medicine we can prescribe for sinusitis, Pulsatilla. Pulsatilla is a good medicine when the discharge from the nose or from the, uh, the uh, throat, the sputums, are, the sputums or the nasal discharge are thick in nature and yellowish greenish in color. Thick yellowish greenish, greenish color with thick discharge and the patient has uh, pain on, over the head persons but the pain is relieved the patient get better when he sit or when he uh, sit in, uh, in the open air if the pain get relieved so this is the symptoms of pulsatilla so thick discharge yellow skin discharge with relieve the symptoms in open air is the main symptoms of pulsatilla another medicine is tuberculum tuberculum is a nodules and it's frequently prescribed for sinusitis. It has the tendency to remove the uh, allergic conditions of the body. And it is generally given, not frequently, it's given weekly or in 15 days interval, one, one dose. And uh, with the tuberculum, as per the symptoms, if you are giving other medicines, it will give a very good result in all type of sinusitis. Thank you.